All right, welcome everybody to uh, the night's festivities. How's everybody doing? Right. Everyone's enjoying the conference. It's pretty good quality, right? Enjoying? So uh, good. What? Uh, let's shout it out. Let's hear from a few people. What's your favorite part of Jab so far? Beer. 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 All right, well, I'm having a, a great time, um, but before we get started, I just want to warm up a little bit, get our kind of uh, laughing and cheering voices ready. Should we do a little little mantra, a little Joomla? Rush. Joomla? Rush. Joomla? Rush. Right. Hold on. I guess I should uh, introduce uh, myself. Uh, my name is Victor Drover and uh, Robert and Alex asked me to help uh, organize this year, and I was very honored to. Thank you, boys. That's a very nice honor. Um, and we have Alex here, who will be assisting us in the presentations tonight. Alex Bremer from 3B Digital. Welcome. And of course, you know, we're here for the Joskers, the Joomla Open Source Creative Recognition Awards. And I don't know if you noticed, but there are no awards for kind of the individuals who make up our community and, of course, everyone out there in the audience. So the Joskers really are um, our, our awards for the people who implement and design for and use and code with and for Joomla. They're very, very special. I think they are unique in the community. So I really hope you enjoy uh, tonight's presentation. It really is the cream of the crop that we'll be recognizing tonight. So to help me present these awards, uh, I'd like to present our uh, first night of Joomla, Brian Tiemann. How about a big hand? <laughs> Welcome, Brian. What's that you got over there? Does anyone have any coconuts? That's the only thing we're missing. <laughs> when Brian bought his suit last week on Twitter, most of you saw that this is what he meant. Welcome, Brian. Thank you. He's very excited. <laughs> so it's, uh, as Victor said, it's great to be here um, to celebrate the second ever Joscars. Um, what we're going to do is, we're going to do this as slightly different this year. Um, last year, well, for, before, before, before I start, um, the nominations for all the categories that you're going to see um, are a result of the Joomla community nominating um, extensions, websites, people. Um, we then took that and we produced a group of people who are from around the world who are site builders, trainers, extension developers, who looked at all the nominations and produced the shortlist that you voted on here today. Um, the votes have been counted, thanks to David and Stefan. I don't have them the task, reading some of your writing. Thank you, boys. Big hand. So, thank you, Larry. Could stand up. <laughs> so they've had the uh, duty of counting. Um, Victor and I have no clue. Um, in what, general. Yeah, in general in life. <laughs> what am I saying with this? Why am I agreeing with you? <laughs> I know everything. It's not often. It's not, <laughs> it's not very common. So the way we're going to do it is we need somebody for each, for each category to present the award. So the way we're going to do this is a little quiz. So for the first uh, pr award presenter, who can tell me which was the first country in the world that allowed women to vote? Yes, at the back. Well done. Please Stephen, approach come on the stage. Up. I'm so glad that worked. I was really hoping you were going to be in the room to get that. <laughs> you can see to uh, King so, Alex. So, Ale so, 
Wait one sec. We're going to announce the shortlist and then you can do the second. So the first award is for the community website. Yeah. The first award is for the community website and in best, Josca, uh, best Oscar tradition, the nominees are findtravelgems.com, joomla.it, joomlacommunity.eu, magazine.joomla.org, and people.joomla.org. And Stephen, if you'd like to take these, the envelope and reveal who the winner is. Magazine.joomla.org. Can I ask? Can I ask Paul and Diane and Christina to come up and collect the awards? If you, if you want to just do it very quick. Hey, the, uh, the magazine is, is, in my view, I've, I've worked on a lot of different teams within this project, and, and the magazine is the most fun that I've been involved with. It's a great group, these three, and there's Alice, and oh, we've got a whole crew here. Um, it's a, it's a lot of fun, and I think we're, we're doing something good for the project, too. And uh, just thank everybody for your support, and keep coming over to see us at magazine.joomla.org. Thanks. Congratulations. Okay, so to help us select the next uh, what, the next category, uh, Victor's going to read out the question. All right. Which is the only country with cities officially known as Bombay, Madras, and Calcutta? Just yell it out. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong. Wrong. US. Who said the U.S.? <laughs> TJ? India. Who said the U.S.? Come on, Matt? TJ, come on down. Oh, TJ up in the roof? <laughs> I'm sure there's a quiz show that says, TJ Baker, come on down! <laughs> Bombay, Madras, and Calcutta were renamed recently in India, so we don't call them that anymore. So whilst TJ is having his yearly exercise and running up to the stage, we're going to announce the shortlist for the non-profit website of the year. And the first nominee is europeanddemocracy.org, the guggenheim.org, hcourtgov.au, and unric.org. TJ, you can go ahead and open the magic envelope and let's see who won. Guggenheim.org. <laughs> Brian? Go. Go. Stay so the Guggenheim website was produced as a, the technical side of it was done by uh, Dioscuri Design and the artistic elements were done by the Guggenheim themselves as you would expect. So this award is going to be sent over to the US to be given directly to uh, Raphael of Dioscuri Design. Let's have one more hand, thanks, well done. So Raphael really wanted to be Raphael really wanted to be here. Unfortunately, he came up with a load of lame excuses. You know, he just had a baby. His brother was getting married. You know, he tried everything, but you know, sadly, he can't be here. So the next, what's next for trivia? Next trivia question is: Which city is home to the most billionaires, as counted in U.S. dollars? Garrett, sorry, wrong. Who said Moscow? Come on down. <laughs> Wait a minute, who said Chicago? <laughs> so, dum, 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 dum. I didn't see who it was. Was dum, it Philip? Dum. I think we should have some playful banter right now while so we're waiting. So, playful right? banter? <laughs> <laughs> Go 
feel like I'm doing something weird <laughs> to that horse. Okay, King Alex will provide you with the uh, yeah. the list. So the next category is the best commercial website built with Joomla, and the nominees are Gorillas.com, ScottsOiler.com, Superdry.com, and Tor Eiffel Eiffel dot fr. And the winner is the winner is Gorillas. <laughs> So, some of you may know Gorillaz is a band created by Damon Alban, formerly known as Blur. Um, I was fortunate enough to speak to Damon and the rest of the design team on Wednesday. Um, they're sitting watching Twitter, waiting for someone to announce that Gorillaz has won, <laughs> and have invited me to uh, take the award down to them in London when I get back. Excellent. So, congratulations to the Gorillaz team. Trivia time. Brian? Yeah, I tried this year. In, in which country will you find the most universities? No. No. India. Who said India? Have you come on up. And the next award So the next category is, is the uh, Blog Website Award, and the first nominee is ayudajumla.com. I've not heard this next one, but it's brian.teeman.net. Gnumla.com. And joomlablogger.net. And the winner is joomlablogger.net. Congratulations. Thanks. I um, just have to say I'm really honored to receive this award and it wouldn't have been, uh, I wouldn't have been here um, if it wasn't for all the readers, all the people tweeting, sharing, commenting and everything. So yeah, it's the community and I, I love you all. <laughs> So now we're moving on to the next uh, group of, it, of awards. Uh, these are for Joomla extensions. Um, just a little comment before this one. Um, there are certain extensions that were nominated in multiple categories. And my initial thought was we should just move them all to one specific category. But the panel decided that no, if it's nominated in multiple ones, that's great. So good luck to everybody who's in this next, cat next section. So the next trivia question is, how long is Three Mile Island? Two and a half. Two and a half. Who said two and a half? Come on down. Come on up. King Alex will provide you with an envelope. So this category is for the best Joomla components, and the nominees are I keep a backup, Flexi Content, Joomla Content Editor, K2, and Sobi2. And the winner is I keep a backup. Thank you, thank you all. Um, I, I wish I could uh, say that in more languages that I know, so you, uh, the following have to make two. Efharisto, thank you. Dankeschön, uh, gracias. Merci, grazie. I think that's all the language I know. Thank you very much to all the international community of Joomla. Thank you. No tears yet, Brian. 
No tears yet. No. Waiting for a teary acceptance speech. <laughs> okay, so for our next trivia, uh, what country has a town called Y? Keep shouting. China. Tony? No. <laughs> no, come on. Maybe we need like, uh, you know, hot or colder type stuff. A little information. You want a clue? <laughs> okay, you want a continent? The continent is Europe. France. Who said France? Alex, for the envelope, please. And the nominations in the category for best module or plugin are Advanced Module Manager, All Videos, Modules Anywhere, Simple Image Gallery, and Sorcerer. Before we announce the award, this category, you should notice a little theme here. There's three from one developer, two from another developer. So there's a little bit of a battle. <laughs> and the winner is. Advanced Module Manager. Congratulations. Thank you very much. One sec, one sec. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not sure if I should be happy. I lost twice and only one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I really want to thank my uh, mum and dad and, uh, and my sisters for not killing me and, uh, and everybody here. Uh, it's uh, been a great experience being here. I missed last year, but I uh, won't do that again. So, thank you. Peter, all those shirts you have that say nothing, you have to change them so they all say something now. <laughs> And Peter, we promise away. that this year we won't have any typing errors or spelling mistakes when we write your name on the awards. <laughs> <laughs> They're on special offer. What was it? Buy, for, buy four and get three? <laughs> okay, and next up, which national anthem has, has 158 verses? <laughs> Have you heard the answer yet? <laughs> <laughs> God, I've got a technical difficulty. Would you um, like to take a, <laughs> a break, perhaps? Brian's going to go to his master list. <laughs> it's okay, you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just in case, because I have had some embarrassing experiences showing the desktop on my laptop during a presentation before. Well, I was using it for two days. Anything could be on there. We're going to have to start over again, because we didn't hear any of the first things you all said. Just keep everybody entertained, please. <laughs> no, we have a singer. Already, I can ne definitely not top that. <laughs> Brian, maybe we should nominate someone to uh, hand out this award. <laughs> okay, and the answer is, I'm sorry, I've completely forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should get last year's winner up to get out the award if they're here. Yeah, that's a, if they're here, let's... Let's move on to the uh, award. <laughs> so, to present this award, the person who's laughing the most at my discomfort, Hagen Graf. <laughs> Uh, 
And the category for the best admin only extension, the, the shortlisted entries are Admin Tools, Admin Praise, Advanced Module Manager, Akiba Backup, and Joomla Content Editor. And the winner is. And the. W it's for the second time. Yeah, now I understand this. It's Akiba Backup! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> The first and only two-time winner in the same. Well, you see, uh, I don't know any more languages, so <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We'll have to make yeah. two. And if you lose one on the way home, you have a backup. Yes. <laughs> well, I, okay, I, I have a backup. I have a backup. Okay. Uh, uh, I thank my mother, my father, uh, God. Um, well, above all, you guys. Europe. Now, Brian, think hard. Okay, in which language is the Spanish national anthem? <laughs> Correct, Garrett. The Spanish national anthem is the only national Come anthem on in the world that has no words. No, no words. No, no words are in Spanish. <laughs> One. <laughs> and this category is for the template framework. And the nominees are... Construct. Gantry. T3. Warp. Zengrid. And the winner is... Construct. Can I cry now? <laughs> no, to be honest with you, I'm, I don't believe this. I really don't. Um, you can ask the Molajo team that when I was nominated, I was completely speechless. And I still think it's a joke. So Amy, <laughs> Christina, no. No, this is awesome. Um, I honestly don't know what to say. I mean, really, all my users, they're the people who make this great. I don't make it great. Uh, everyone here, you make Joomla rock, so I want to thank you. I do this for the community. Construct is for the community. I know I charge a little money for it, but really it's for everyone here. So thank you very much, Joomla. Thank you. So the next group of awards are the Joomla People Awards. Uh, some of them, somebody tweeted these are the big mouth of Joomla Awards. Not sure who that was. <laughs> All right, so our next trivia term. Brian, do you want to hit this one? Which is the only country where the Chinese national anthem is banned? China. Who was the first person that said China? Simon? Because the Chinese national anthem is the national anthem of Taiwan. Come on down. And Let's give him a big round of applause to encourage him to come on up here. So this category is the category for the Forum Junkie. And I'm going to get this in quickly. One, me, you, me, do it. Yeah. And the first nominee is Guillermo Bravo, otherwise known as Willin, from the Chilean community. Jean-Marie Simonet or Infograph 768. Mandeville. I'm going to mess. I did this up. one on purpose. Why did that stop to count? Thank you for that. Uh, Miljan uh, Vujosevic. And Peter Martin. And the winner is. Just going to drag this out. <laughs> Peter Martin. Where is he? Peter, are you here? Is Peter here? 
It's on the forum. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Peter's obviously found something more interesting to do, like doing forum support. So we'll keep this and we'll give it to him tomorrow morning. Congratulations, Peter. Okay, let's move on. Which national anthem says... The Netherlands. The Netherlands. To the sp <laughs> on Jeopardy you would have, now you'd be blocked out, now you cannot win. <laughs> to the King of Spain I've granted a lifelong loyalty. Who was it that said it first? Michelle? Michelle. Your prize, Michelle, is to explain why. How was the performance run this morning? Can you explain why the Dutch national anthems? No clue. No clue whatsoever. Go sit down. Does it, can anybody explain? No, no, no. Can anybody? I'm genuinely interested. Can anyone explain why the Dutch national anthem in the first verse says to Spain? I, but you still do it. <laughs> I'll stop on that comment. <laughs> and this category is for the co-junkie of the year. And the nominees are. I've got it. I've got, I, I know it. I know how to do it. You can do the first I one. Got a better one, though. What? All right. Hans Poppenberg. Nicholas Dinosaurlopoulos. <laughs> who, by the way, in Milwaukee, they call him Nicholas Dinosaur. Just so you know. No offense. That's <laughs> all in touch. Peter Van Westen. And Stian Didrikson. <laughs> and the winner goes to. <laughs> oh, two, two names on the list. Oh. Stian and Nicholas. Both. Yeah. Thank you, man. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's a good thing to be a code junkie. <laughs> I'd say it's a good thing, and I told yeah. you that you would win. I told okay. you. Yeah. You were right. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're honored, and thank you. <laughs> I'm now petrified about looking at the trivia question in case I forget again what the answer is. <laughs> if only we had a list of answers. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so K2 is the second highest. Okay, Mountain. we got it. We'll answer the question. In which country will you find it? And the answer is Pakistan. Who is it? James? Come on up. King Alex will attend to yeah. your needs. <laughs> so this category is the Blog Junkie Awards. And the nominees are Amy Stephen, Brian Tiemann, Christopher Sandvin, Steve Burge, James. And the winner is Brian Tiemann. Well Thanks a lot, mate. Congratulations, Brian. Oh, I've got a microphone. Thanks a lot. So when Amy said this was the Big Mouth of the Year Award, I'm honoured to be the Big Mouth of Joomla. Thank you very much. <laughs> so the next trivia question is... Oh me. There are more pigs than humans in which country? Germany. <laughs> Denmark. <laughs> Give him a hand. Let's help him out. Which award are we on, Brian? <laughs> so this is the last of our uh, publicly nominated categories. And this is the award for the Social Media Junkie of the Year. And the nominees are... Amy Stephen. Barry North. Brian Tiemann. Radek Suski. And Steve Birch. And the winner is... Amy Stephen.
Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, this is the Big Mouth Award right here. I'm, I'm glad you recognize the quality of every 140 characters I shared this, this year. Thank you very much. So we're now moving on to uh, the final part of uh, the 2011 Joscas, the special awards. These special awards have been decided by a panel of people from here, among, in, um, your fellow attendees at JAB11. I'd like to invite all of them to come up on the stage, the people who have been choosing this award. Let's have our panel and give them a big hand. It's this is a... Alice, Emmanuel, Babs, Oliver, Stephen, Peter, and Stian. This is a very, very tough job as these awards are, by intention, nondescript. And it's up to our panel to choose from all of you and everyone else in the community the winners. Brian and I are completely in the dark here also. Yeah. So the first award is for the Joomla Innovation of the Year. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm, I've got it. Okay. Best innovation of the year goes to the Joomla Community Magazine for bringing new voices to Joomla and for communicating Joomla news and knowledge. And it brings a little monthly thrill with tips and tricks, tutus, and toilet paper. We would for now, yeah, we can talk about more later. Give it, give it to Alice. Um, this time, I, I really didn't expect that first one, and so I was unprepared, but now what I'd like to do is ask everybody here who's either been on the Joomla magazine, community magazine team, or is now, or has contributed an article, to please stand up. And let's give everybody in the magazine team a round of applause. Uh, thank you. Thank, Thank you, everybody, for your contribution. And uh, one final round of applause for our great jury. Please thank them for uh, slaving while we were relaxing and drinking. You, you have to stay here now until we wait for. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so whilst um, we're waiting for someone who's <coughs> too busy. <laughs> uh, I was, I was going to say, oh, and Pete, well, actually, and Pete as well, so we'll do one, we'll do, we'll just rewind a little bit, yeah, and I'm just going to rewind a little bit, yeah, and wait, wait, yeah, I just want to rewind a little bit, um, because somebody else, um, missed an award earlier on, get the, <laughs> so, in the category Forum Junkie, the nominees are Guillermo Bravo or Willin. Jean Marais Simonet, Infograph 768. Mandville. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Miljan Vujosevic. You know, left field. You, you could have just said left field. <laughs> I should have just said left field. <laughs> and Peter Martin. And the winner is. Peter Martin. <laughs> Congratulations, you get a chance to speak. Uh, thank you all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this was a... <laughs> yeah, it still is. <laughs> okay. I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, For a forum junkie, he's not very wordy. So, take, take two, are we ready this time? <laughs> so, the special award decided by the jury for Joomla Person of the Year to announce the award. 
Best person of the year goes to Johan Janssens for his long-term contribution to Joomla since its founding and for leadership and innovation in Nuku and for his generous sharing of knowledge and beer. I'll need to explain myself, I guess. Uh, can, you, can you hold this because the beer is more important? No, not the beer, not the beer. <laughs> yeah, thank you. The beer is definitely more important. So I, I was invited uh, outside for a, a beer, uh, a lot of it, and we got talking, Peter and, and a few of the old guys. They were actually sitting outside on the lawn. I wasn't on the list. I was like, I, I've won an award last year. I was very pleased with that. I, I don't need an award this year. I happily accept it. Uh, I hope you join me in a beer tonight to, to celebrate it. Uh, thank you all for that. Well, like I said last year, um, it's Joomla Person of the Year. Um, yeah, that's quite a lot. I hope next year um, I can be not the Person of the Year, but not another great developer and contributor and collaborator with each and every one of you. And let's drink on that tonight. That's it. Oh, and um, our discussion outside, Peter and I decided to fork Joomla, uh, but. <laughs> but as Johan said, at Joomla Day, Denmark, Brian, why do you always take the last word away from me? So I'm forking Nuku. Ah! Thank you very much. So our panel, please can give them a round of applause for their hard work choosing the two categories. That concludes the 2011 Just Cars. I'd like to thank my co-host, Victor Driver, King Henry VIII, Mr. Alex Bremer, every one of you for nominating, for voting, for taking part in the panel. And thank you, Brian. And now, let's retire to the uh, refreshments. Joomla beer or the Joomla coffee? Joomla! <laughs> Thanks a lot, mate.